Hello friends! After all that farming in the last lesson, we are ready to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Fresh produce straight from the organic farm. Let's continue learning about time. An organic farm is one where fruits and vegetables are grown without the use of pesticides and fertilizers. Moving on. In today's lesson we will learn about the 24-hour clock. 24 hours? But I see only 12 hours on a clock. Previously we have learned to read time according to AM and PM. We begin with 12 hours of AM, and after 12 noon begins the next 12 hours of PM all the way up to midnight. 12 plus 12 is 24 hours, that makes one full day. In a 24-hour clock we do not use AM and PM. Instead, we use hours and minutes. Ah, now I get it. After the 12 hours, moving by one hour, the time is 13 hours, then 14 hours, 15 hours and onwards all the way to 24 hours. Here are images of clocks with the same time. On a 12-hour clock we read the time as 5.38 a.m. or 5.38 p.m. On a 24-hour clock we read the same time as 5 hours 38 minutes in the morning and 17 hours 38 minutes in the evening. solve a problem next to understand how to find duration in a 24-hour clock. Remember, duration is the time taken from the start to the end of an activity. A truck with carrots left the farm at 11 hours 45 minutes and reached the market at 14 hours 20 minutes. How long did the truck take to reach the market? From 11.45 to 12.00 hours, it took 15 minutes. Another 2 hours to 14.00 hours, and another 20 minutes to 14.20 hours. Altogether the truck took 15 minutes plus 2 hours plus 20 minutes, that equals to 2 hours 35 minutes to reach the market. Time to solve the next problem. Farah began watching a movie on Friday night at 10 hours 30 minutes. The movie ended 1 hour 50 minutes later. At what time did the movie end? The movie began at 10.30. 1 hour after 10.30 is 11.30. Another 50 minutes takes us 30 minutes up to midnight and another 20 minutes after midnight. The movie ended at 00 hours 20 minutes. Remember, after midnight it is the next day. So, the movie ended at 00 20 on Saturday. Professor Fifi, we just saw some of our robot friends at work in the dairy farm feeding the cattle and milking the cows. Yes, many farms are using robots to help them in their daily farming operations. I must head down there to say hello to our robot friends. But before we leave, it's time to say goodbye. We have reached the last lesson of this chapter. We hope you enjoyed learning math with us as much as we enjoyed. 
Iggy and Tippy are also here to say goodbye. We hope to see you soon again. Bye.